Hey guys, Miss Jager here, and welcome back to X3 AP, the last episode in our series. Yes, we are sadly ending this series, but do not fret, for we shall try, and uh, I found I, I had an idea to make it relatively entertaining. Uh, might not be a long episode, to be honest with you. Uh, but, that said, I thought, why not end the series in a pretty Attention. awesome aircraft? One of your ships is under the X-Wing! Uh, the X-Wing X, uh, the X-Wing... I mean, mm, you know, at first I figured I should, I kind of wanted to, uh, go with, uh, having, I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, maybe I should go with my X-Wing, my traditional X-Wing. Oh, good lord, shut up, thingy. Good lord, I want to turn that off so much. Anyway, so currently at the moment there's a lot of fighting going on because I turned on, um, the, in the last episode I turned on the sector wars thing which basically means people can take over stuff now what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to i'm going to be super cheeky yeah, we began in our x wing so i think it's only fair that we end in our x wing so uh, follow me though i am going to do something slightly Military different outpost. all right where is my x wing i think there it is also because this uh, this x wing for some reason I don't know if I've mentioned it in the last episode. Attention. It can't one actually one close its foils. I think this will have to be one of those, once I get a higher level patch and, you know, and I start a new game, then it shall actually work. But unfortunately, we can't get the thing to work properly, which sucks. Um, but what we can do is get the old X-Wing out. The proper X-Wing. <laughs> I'd say proper. You know what I mean. Anyway. Command. Stand by. Where are you? Where the hell is it? Oh, it's done its I'll stay far away thing. Four, three, two, one. Slow down, slow down, and stop. Move in to catch up a little bit. And stop. Just a little bit, and stop. Little bit. Stop. Right, okay. So, yes, going back to the thing, I decided to do a one last let's go find a thing. We'll find a thing. Let's go find a, uh, an old, uh, let's go find a planet that we, uh, haven't discovered yet. Because I noticed on the map, or more specifically this map, that there's a Jupiter. Now, obviously, that's in the solar system. Uh, you can go and dock somewhere. Attention, one of your ships Whoa. is under attack. Only Holy shit! Uh, what's accepted. my energy? What's the energy available? Five. Okay, so the general theory was, if I can go to, um, my main plan is to explore up to the north and see if I can find Earth. That's going to be where we're going to round things off. You know, there'll be deep in enemy territory as well. Which means it's going to be pretty freaking terrifying, to say the least. So, in order to compensate for that, we are going to give this X-Wing a little bit of a boost. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to add some wares. I'm going to get some lasers. And I'm going to give it these. <laughs> so, now, we have all... We have time and back XK-10. There you go, and these things are apparently in storage. Uh, eject for we're not going to need them. Gone. Ejected. There you go, so KX-9 is now gone, and we have KX-10s, which, if any of you guys are interested in a KX-10, as to what it is, basically, super variant, which is nice, does a nice level of damage. Um, so, there we go. Our quest begins by... Jumping to Heretic's End to... Actually, no. Can we go to Asteroid Belt? We can go to Asteroid Belt. Right. So, let's go Asteroid Belt. Jump device charging at 10%. 20. 30. 40. 50%. 60. I have no idea 70, what's in the settlement, though. 80. 90. Jumping. Like, I know that it... Le I, I sort of... I glimpsed into it, but we sort of only saw the entrance to this place. So, here's hoping. Here's hoping it's not that bad. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good sound. Um, right. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God in hell. <laughs> Lock S falls in a motherfucking attack position and charge those lasers. We are in the shit right now. Quickly, get the lasers out. I am terrified. So very terrified. That's a lot of bad things there. Oh god, they're already shooting at me. Who's shooting at me? It is a ganking post, but that's the of the cannons going off. God. Oh. God. Am I out of range? Well, they're shooting at someone else, so we might be lucky. God. That's terrifying. Oh, the Taladi have taken Xenon Sector 598 from Xenon. Oh, Mandalorian. Oh, hello. Jeez, anyone coming through that gate is going to get ganked. Anyone who's not familiar with the term is basically an old Eve term, which means that if anyone goes through a gate or a warp gate and get immediately ambushed by people who are like clearly have the advantage. Okay, so this sector is under control of the Empire for definites. Okay, so what is that in the distance there? Transorbital accelerator. Ooh. Mars. Ooh, Mars. Mars is much closer to Earth than um than we thought. Right, so that's my objective. I need to somehow get through that as well as those ships that are Oh god. Oh god. I think it's about time to cut losses and go fast. I think I might just have to bail out of here. There's no way I can take on any of these guys. Holy crap. Look at all these Empire ships. Jeez. You've got a Star Destroyer. You've got clearly medium class ships. I think there's a few vanilla ships of this game trapped in there, but god damn. Oh god. Oh! Please. <laughs> when 455 millimeter. Oh god. Uh. Yeah, I present myself as a minimal box. God. Apologies for anyone feeling motion sick, but this is as fast and as crazy as I can go. God. Jesus Christ. Can I upgrade my ship? Transorbital Accelerator. Mars. Let's have a look. Uh, install upgrades. No, not equipment. Upgrades, yes. Uh, engine tuning. No. Uh, what about rudder optimization? No. Uh... Wow, this thing's... Oh. oh, is that ship under attack? ATF. Who is he shooting at? Oh no, that's a B-Wing. That's so, so screwed. ATF. Oh god, oh look at those fighters. Jeez. How close am I in relation to all those nasties? Tech Trader, Sabir... You know, let's try and save some of these guys, or at least try and do something, though. The odds are we're not going to be able to save that guy. I want to try to, though. ATF. Actually, before we do, let's save just in case, because knowing my luck, we ain't going to be able to save. Or knowing my luck, I'm going to die fairly quickly into this op. Three seconds, or three seconds, three kilometers, two, one, there we go. Come on, come on. It's a tie. It's a tie fighter, so it's nothing too bad. Come on! Ow! Oh, that's cutting through the shields. Nice. Boom, bitch! That is your death. Ah, oh, crap! I think we weren't able to save the other guy. Oh no, we are. We are. We totally are. Fantastic! It's just there's a shit ton of those fighters. 
They look all TIE Fighters though. We can just kill their shields. TIE Fighters die real quick. Boom. Remote guided warhead installed. Boom. Remote guided warhead removed. Oh God. Oh God, that was close. No! Terran scimitar. ATF. Another Tie Fighter. These things eat up energy fairly quickly. Like, that's not even a warning now. It's just... Yeah, you can see. The higher... The, the more power... Obviously, it's a more powerful laser, so you want to be careful. But still, like... Holy crap. I'll see you on the other Boom. Side. Does damage, though. Oh, god damn. How many more bastards are there? Jeez. Well, there's one on that poor guy's tail, so I need to take care of him quickly. He's taking some damage, which is nice. He's head on him. He's head on him. Target is now in firing range. Don't have any missiles. Nope, I has no missiles. Oh, god. That was close. Attention. I lose in 5% inter uh, 4% intervals. That's crazy. I'll see you on the other side. Ah! <laughs> he sounds all informative and then all of a sudden ah! Target is now in firing range. Finally get to do some damage against those um incoming message. Ooh, taking gunners crusade from the pirates. That's good. See, this is the thing about, this is the way that that particular plugin works, is that um, each of, like, factions now become a bit like in Total War, um, their own sort of aggressive entity. And depending on the relationship you have with those people, that's either good or bad news. Obviously, because this is the last episode of the series, we aren't really going to be too fussed about that. But in future series, what I'll be doing is I will be activating... Damn it, my shields are almost gone. Nope, no, no, no ships for me. Oh shit, that's a command ship, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna save just in case. We're all taking a bit of fire, but we're doing pretty good so far. He says as he just gets completely annihilated by everything. I just gone. I've just been hit, and I can't go any faster than 176. Ow. Target left firing range. You know what? I will happily I will happily chill with that. Oh god. Oh no, my engines are back to normal. Target he has ion gun cannon. This one is just for you. Why? Target left firing range. God. Where's the Jump portal. There it is. Right. What's Trans that? Transorbital accelerator. Mars. Terran. Oh shit. Spring blossom. That's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the big one. Right. That's my calling card. That's that's me done. Oh, I see. That's another thing. That's Mars, Trans isn't it? Transorbital yes. accelerator. Mars. Yeah, we have to bug out. Like, it's nice and all that we get to fight all these people, but that is, yeah, those guys look pretty mean, and I don't think I can take them on. That's kind of a no. That's a no from me, I'm afraid. But thanks. Thanks for sending all those people. I just can't kill them. Unless I turn god mode on. One of your ships is under attack. Ooh, Omicron Terran Lyrie. Recon drone. I'm going to be a dick and make him send another drone. Or not, because that's a pretty big ship there. Let's get going, shall we? Ah, yeah, that's a really good reason not to go here. Oh, shit. Oh, it's fine. It's a transorbital jumper, not an actual warp gate. So it's okay. Doesn't count. Entering system, Mars. Okay, so... 
Okay. So we're in Mars, and this looks like a heavily defended Terran, uh, sorry, Imperial facility. And that's also, also lots of baddies. So we should probably get out of here. Yeah, we should. Terran, Lincoln, Terran, Lincoln, Rapier. Rapier. Looks a bit like one of those ships you get off, um, uh, Wipeout. Right. Well, finally we got some music back, which is hilarious. God, this guy goes fast, but must have really crap shields. I hope. That's it. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. No, don't go away from Papa. Fine, screw you. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, apart from nothing. What's that? Transorbital accelerator. You have failed to comply with our instruction to leave our sectors. We are authorized to open fire. Prepare to be terminated. Okay, well, that's not exactly something I like the sound of. Um, One of your ships is under okay, Venus is further away from Mars. Island. Where is Mars, anyway? There should be Mars. Oh, there's Mars. <laughs> I was like, Mars, where the fuck? Shipyard. Right. Well, Mars is close to Earth. I mean, it sounds stupid, but in relation to the galaxy or the solar system, Earth is actually close to Mars. It's just unfortunately Earth, and just unfortunate, you know, in in real life terms, it's nowhere near Earth. Terran recon drone. Oh my God, that's not a recon drone. That's freaking, yeah, that's the Confederacy uh, drone. Oh, that's clever. Shipyard. I like how they did that. Recon drone, but it's actually one of those. Okay, so stuff to the north is Venus. We need to find one to like either Shipyard. Earth. Or the Mercury. Mercury is actually closer to Earth. But technically it's ahead of Earth. But where is it? There has to be another one. There has to be another like gateway or something. Because. What's that? I can't. I can't really tell. Um, oh, come on. Where are you? I know there's. There has to be something here. It can't just be to Venus. Why would they have an ability for you to go to Mars if they couldn't also allow... It? Right, can I... Can Ship I sink further? Out. Yes, I can. Right. Um, you know, there has to be a way around here. Right. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Right, let's... Well, first of all, the map is quite large, so let's quickly go as fast as we can to, to reach wherever. And then see if we can find something. Oh no. Do I have to go to like Venus? That'll suck. Oh dude, that shield is down for that thing. Wait, did I Transorbital Accelerator? Yeah, that's Venus. Venus. Terran military Yokohama. Yokohama. I'm half tempted to try and take that on. Terran you know what? Military Yokohama. Yokohama. I don't have any missiles, which suck, but we can try taking that thing on. Its hull is damaged quite severely, so... It's a bit weird that this map is so huge, but only has two points. Maybe if we take the Venus one, I could, like, find another one around it, maybe. I'm probably going to die facing off against this Yokohama, but oh well. If I can find a place to, like, not get shot at, that would be great. Oh, God. Ow, 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 Okay, I call Dibsies to not go- Oh, shit. I'm dead. Yep. Because I bumped into it. Yep. And we're back. Right, unfortunately, I did get clubbed for it. Um, yeah, we can't take that guy on. I really hate that about this game. It's so reassuredly Dark Souls-ish. It's, it's, it's Dark Souls-ish, you know? It's like, hey, look! What? You dying! I'm like, thanks. Wait, is there a south one? What is that? Terran. Civilian ship. Oh, civilian ship. Okay. Who am I targeting with? 
Oh, it's a civilian ship. I'm not going to attack that. Terran, civilian ship. Well, if I can't have that thing, I can at least go for this. I suggest you leave me alone, or you'll be sleeping with a space fly. Oh, bitch, you are so... Oh, no, now you start going. <laughs> it's like, fuck her. You can't do anything to me. I'm a citizen. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that was funny. That was dark, but funny. Right, I think my best bet is to perhaps, um, yeah, I think my best bet is probably to go through that Venus gate, see what I can do, and then, like, wait, what? Oh, right, okay, sorry, I thought I saw another gate, and I was like, wait, what? No. Starburst Shockwave Cannon Forge Alpha. Right, yes, yeah, so let's go through the gate where the Yokohama was somewhat resting. That's Venus, isn't it? Transorbital Accelerator, Venus. Venus. Right, so yeah, grab that, get that sorted. And then, by jumping into there, we should be able to take care of, um... Terran, Taxi Service, Transorbital Venus, Accelerator. Yeah. Yeah, so if we can do that, then we can try and get over to maybe Venus another section. Right, Venus. Venus. Venus is... Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a lot of shit. Right, is there anything at Venus that helps us get the hell out of Dodge? Because I see a lot of nasty ships around. Oh, hello. What's that? That's a gate. Transorbital Accelerator. The moon. Ooh! Ooh! There's the moon! There's the moon! That's the moon! We need to go there. Go! Go, go! I don't care! Get out of the way, civilian! I don't care! That's the moon! Why, though? Pilot, this is Argon Command. We're being overrun in Heretic's End. Find out what's happening there. Yes, I'm well aware of it. We're losing to the Empire. Blah, 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 blah. Don't care. Why? Because I'm near the moon! The moon! Oh my god, this could be it. I could find Earth. I was a bit worried I wouldn't be able to find Earth. Well, that said, we are kind of jumping the gun here. I could only go to the moon, but I don't care! The moon! <laughs> the moon! Oh my god. I wonder if I can land on Earth. Probably not. Oh, there it is! There's Earth! So where's the gate for it? Oh, uh, don't tell me. Oh, come on. Right, no, no, no. I've only just entered the sector. Oh, shit. That's a, that's a ship. That's a, that's a, no. That's a very big ship. We go round. We go round. That's a very big ship. Let's not piss it off. That's it. That's it. Everything's kind of big around here. That can kill you if not careful. Oh, boy. That's a, that's, that's the, that's the Kyoto, isn't it? Terran supply mobile really? base ship. Really? It's not armed? Uh you know what? I fancy pushing my chances. Terran supply mobile mining base ship. I mean it says it's a mobile ma base ship, so you never know. It probably is loaded to the teeth and it's just one of those psych as like blows you up the moment we even breathe it. But still, five kilometers. This is when the normal one would start unloading. Will this one unload too? Ooh, this one's not shooting. Target is now in firing range. I can't shoot back. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I actually found something that won't. Oh no, it, it shoot back, it shoots back, it shoots back. Ow, ow, ow. Attention. Energy low. But hey, if I can get the right kind of... If I can get the right kind of speed to this thing, I can shoot at this thing. And it won't, like... You're going to get it now. Really? I... I'm sorry, I can't see. I can't hear you over the sound of my destroying you. It's probably the most not probably the most entertaining. Shit, shit, shit. 
Ah. I'm so glad that those guns don't work. This is slightly painful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause recording. So I will see you when this thing is nearly dead. Video in. Right. Well, that's that thing dead. Spent so bloody long droning in and out of almost death that I, uh... May have activated permanent lasers on my la on my lasers just to speed things up, and I wasn't really paying attention, and he died fairly quickly. I only noticed that he was dying when I heard the <laughs> noise he made. Right anyway, what's this? Transorbital accelerator. Nope, that's not the one I want. Venus. Shipyard. Right, let's quickly Shipyard. get the thing slowly. Where is? There has to be a transorbital accelerator near Earth. Or is that it? Wait. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I see something. Ugh, fucking... I'm not even looking at the damn thing. God damn it. Come on. No. Mineral transport no. Shipyard. Oh my god. Seriously. Transorbital yes! Uh Fantastic. Right. Here we go. Bloody hell, that's a long way away. 76 kilometers. <gasps> that's a big, big dot on my radar. Let's not, let's go, let's not annoy that. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> With the clothes. No, leave me alone. I don't want to do anything. I just want to go to Earth and then get promptly blasted to smithereens by the capital. Because it's Earth. Ah! Oh my god. So yeah, we've been to Jakku, we've been to Coruscant, and what the hell is that? And obviously we're over the Americas, but... Wow. You know, there's something kind of intimidating about seeing a giant ball of blue with what looks to be the Death Star remnants stuck inside. Unless this is like meant to be something in relation to the um, the X3 AP story, but this is Earth, but it doesn't look damaged. Like I can clearly see towns and settlements there. That's so freaky. That is so, so freaky. Transorbital accelerator. Oh, look, the there's moon. the moon. So yeah, that's... So this is Earth. This is, in fact, Earth. I have no idea what this is, but it's big. I mean, it's freaking huge. It looks to be like some kind of orbital defense station that probably got smashed up by something. Damn. Or that, or that, it's the Death Star. It's one, of, it's one or the other. Well, that's going to be it, guys. And that's going to be it for the series. So, the future of this series, or this game... Well, the thing is, um, this mod is still in development. Um, I haven't actually updated this game in a couple of weeks, so that pretty much, yeah, like this game is still, this mod is still in development. So it's going to be, you know, it's not just going to end here with this end of the series. Um, definitely go check it out. I will put a link in the description for this mod. It is well worth checking it out if you're a massive fan of not only this game, but also Star Wars as well. And, you know, in the future, uh, maybe six months' time or whatever, I might come back to this game. And uh, do a mini little let's play on it just to sort of see another new feature. Because the problem, the big problem at the moment is that whenever you update this game, although the guy adds, uh, although the pet Kev uh, meters inputs new things and puts new game, like gameplay elements into it, like new ships or whatever, the game won't automatically spawn them 
when you log in next, you actually have to start the campaign over again. So, for example, although I did say this was going to be a milestone campaign, um, having completed through all the tasks, I didn't really want to just start the whole game over again just to see if a new ship was going to spawn as an AI entity. So, maybe sometime down the line we can do something. And, um... Maybe we could do something like maybe we can do something separately like maybe have a campaign where I'm just doing nothing but like um, I don't know uh, be a trader or be a bounty hunter or a pirate hunter something along those lines That will be something that would be kind of cool to try would be sort of interested in doing that um, But apart from that though, that's gonna be it for me from this game Thank you very much for tuning in for the series. I hope you have enjoyed. I have had a lot of fun actually playing through this There have been moments where it's been frustrating because of just how brutal this game can be but still, it's a fantastic game, and if you enjoy a real-time sort of... If you enjoy EVE Online, uh, but can't really play online, then this is probably the best game for that. Well, that's going to be it from me, and if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get my S4s into attack position and start attacking America. I'll catch up with you once I've done that. See you guys!